Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, January 23rd. A four-month extension of the U.S. federal debt limit is all but in place. The House of Representatives, controlled by Republicans, approved the extension this afternoon. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says his Democrat-controlled chamber supports the extension and will likewise approve it. President Obama has indicated he will sign it as well. Today's House approval came on a vote of 295 to 144. There were fierce words in the Senate today from outgoing Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton. She was called to testify about the handling of the deadly attack against the U.S. Embassy in Benghazi, Libya last year. Ms. Clinton took personal responsibility for the deaths of four Americans. She became angry at Republican assertions that the Obama administration misled the country over whether the attack resulted from a spontaneous protest or was planned in advance. An official inquiry previously found the State Department was unprepared to deal with an attack. The National Rifle Association is blasting President Obama and his second inaugural address. NRA Executive Wayne LaPierre criticized Obama's remarks in which he quoted the Declaration of Independence and talked about inalienable rights. LaPierre said Obama made a mockery of both because of his support to restrict assault weapons, ammunition, and other firearms regulations. LaPierre said citizens have every right to possess the same semi-automatic weapon technology that criminals use to prey on Americans and their families. Legislation to reinstate a federal ban on assault weapons is expected to be introduced in Congress next week. New York City's upcoming ban on big soft drinks is coming under new attacks, this time from minority groups. The NAACP and the Hispanic Federation joined a lawsuit against the ban on selling sugary drinks in containers larger than 16 ounces. The challengers say the soda rule will harm minority businesses and restrict freedom of choice in low-income communities. The rule is set to take effect March 12th. A hearing on the lawsuit, originally brought by beverage companies and sellers, takes place later this week. That's your Political News Roundup for Wednesday, January 23rd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news all day long.